Welcome back to the channel guys. So today we have the new Hobby Wing Multifunction LCD Program Box Pro. That is for the speed control for the Hobby Wing. Um, we'll go ahead and get into unboxing and see what this thing looks like for the first time guys. So let's go ahead, cut it open and have a look. This guy. It is in there. Okay. So you get the programmer, USB, you get your ESC cable, and then you also get your manual. Briefly, you got your ESC programming, power supply, USB, a battery voltage checker as well on it. Get the manual here. All right, show you how to set it up. Features. All right, so out the way. Let's get into the box, guys. Here we go. Feels pretty good. Has a scroll right here. Enter. You have your back and cancel button right here. And you have your save button. Has a plastic protector on the screen. And rolls that is Bluetooth capable. It feels pretty good. Pretty solid. Has a rubber uh, mat here in the back, so you can put it down. All right. And then lipo checker. It goes up to eight, um, eight cell. All right. And then here you have your ESC, um, your battery plug-in, and then your um, USB-C. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the Hobby Wing website, hobbywing.com. You go to um, services and support right there. And then you scroll down. Then you'll go to this file right here. Click on that. Then you'll download this guy. All right. Scroll on down. Here you download it for Windows. And then also I recommend you getting this file which is www.rarlab.com and just pretty much go up here, download. And this is what's gonna help you um, get those files converted over and zipped and all that good stuff, extracted, what have you. Um, there's also what I use to do the spectrum update for this guy. I did get it updated by downloading this software here. Go to RAR Lab. And once I downloaded this, everything else communicated and everything worked perfectly. So this was the only thing I was missing to get this one here done. So it will work for both of them, okay? So let me plug um, the software in and get the um, box. Going. All right, so if you guys haven't programmed your Spectrum um, program box V2, this is also similar to that. So it seems like I have to download um, the software, Hoplink software, and update the program box before it, it'll probably work uh, the way I like it, the way it should. Um, so I gotta download it. Now it's my first. I'm gonna plug it up. It's so I can update the firmware on this program box. So I just plug the ESC in. Connect it to connect it to USB. I see that, and I have a thing here. So I already went in. Basically, once you plug it up, um, you would go up here, click on that. It will be on the ESC, and then just click it here to the LCD program box, and then this is what's going to pop up. Um, mine I already updated mine, but I'll do it again so you see what it, what it would do if it would even let me do it. 
hit this, hit update, and then it's gonna do its thing. But I'm already updated. So I recommend doing this before you use the program box. Make sure you have everything up to date, which I'm pretty sure you will need to. So we'll pretty much just run through the whole um, update. I'm gonna get right back with you once it's finished. Okay, so it finished, and then this popped up. Okay, and then you want to check the database upgrade as well. I'll go back here, All right? LCD. Click on that. Again, mine is already updated, but it wasn't before. So, all right, so if you don't have a computer to do the software with here, you can also do it on, um, on the tablet and we'll do the same thing as well. All right, so let's go ahead, plug it up to the car and just kind of see what kind of parameters, what, what it looks like um, going through the settings and menus with the box, with the program box. Let's get started, guys. All right, so here we go. When you first turn it on, got parameters, um, <clears throat> data record, uh, mode setting, system setup, look at the parameter setting. So, what's on this ESP right now is a zero timing setup. I guess um, one of the default settings, I guess you could probably do on it. It says the running mode forward with brake. I'm kind of going through showing you everything on here. This ESP has a ton of features on it. It has a turbo timing and delay and all kinds of stuff like that. A lot of curves and quite a bit, guys. So it's good to see it um, with this setup as well, bigger screen. Right, so it's timing and all that, okay. And then, oh, this is the data. When I last ran it, this is good. Um, mode setting, so profile switching. So right now I'm on zero timing profile. Um, it has like an off road, on road, as it's a GT at sport. Let's see what the GT shows. Save that. Go back. So the parameters, this is ACO GT, so it has a turbo timing, turbo delay, uh, turbo increase rate, turbo decrease rate, uh, okay. So let me put it back to the zero timing. Alright, let's hit that save button and then that would show you zero timing profile, okay? Alright, so then let's go down to system. So you have the language. Alright, you have your brightness. Turn your um, sound on and off. Okay. Alright, device information. You guys get the idea and reset. I just want to go through, show you guys some of the settings on the program box. Um, this here is my XR8 um, ESC. So, again, just want to show you guys how everything works. Again, thanks for watching. Catch you guys on the next one.